Hi everybody, it's Dino with One Tom Plumber. I'm back with another video. This time it's about cleanouts. Cleanouts are that vertical pipe you see sticking out of your yard and you always wonder what the heck is that? Other than the little thing that your kids trip over when they're playing in the yard or running through the water sprinkler. I've got the answers for you. I want to show you the clean out what it looks like it's usually placed about 12 to 18 inches away from the foundation wall of the building on your property the purpose of it is important it's actually to create access to your sewer line so this is the way a plumber or anybody who wants to fix a clog in their sewer line would access it you just go right in here. It's the quickest, easiest way to do it. Otherwise, you're going to have to find harder to get into areas like your toilet to access the sewer line. And that's a much more difficult, uh, time-consuming process. So when there's an emergency like a backup on your property, you want this to be around. And you want to know exactly where it is in your yard so you can get to it quickly. So as I said, this clean-out is a vertical pipe that attaches to a horizontal sewer line that's going out to the street. In this case, it's going out to an alley in the back of our home. If you know where your sewer line is, you can always find your clean out because it's gonna be along that path somewhere. Sometimes it's located that 12 to 18 inches away from the building, like I said. Other times, it's locating out in the easement, like in your front yard area, that little strip of grass that's near the street. All right, so why do you need to access the clean out? The reason is you're going to have at some point in your life, everybody does, any homeowner does at least, uh, they're going to have a backup uh, from their sewer line. It's going to back up from a number of different reasons. Uh, it can be tree root, crushed pipe from moving soil, a grease buildup that happens over time from cooking meat, pouring them down your drains, etc. All that kind of stuff, starchy foods, all those sticky things that build up over time. Those are all reasons that cause uh, a backup in your sewer line. As you're trying to get waste out of the house, these clogs start forming and it backs up. And the only access you have to get to that um, quickly is through this particular clean out. So a plumber is basically going to do two things. They're going to router out the, the sewer line, which is basically taking something, let's say it's tree roots, they're going to take a hydrojet and jet out the line. That cleans it up. A lot of times a camera line inspection done before you um, root out the problem uh, won't help because you can't see anything in all this dark black water. The camera line inspection will come second. You'll basically put a camera down that clean out out through the sewer line until they see what caused the problem after you've kind of cleared it out. And so a sewer line inspection should probably be done once every two years after the problem has happened just to make sure it's maintained and cleaned and operating efficiently. Here's another tip for you on the clean out. Never bury it. It's important not to do because you need to get to it quickly. You need to know where it is. A lot of times homeowners bury these because they're unsightly or because they cause uh, annoyance when they're mowing the lawn and they have to go around it all the time. Live with the annoyance and live with the unsightliness of a pipe sticking out of your yard. It's extremely important to get to this as quickly as possible. Water damages can cause thousands and thousands of dollars of damage. They can even cause health concerns with wastewater coming into your home. So you want access to this. You want to know exactly where it is at all times. All right. Thanks, everybody, for sticking with me through a description of a clean out and why it's important to you. I really do appreciate it. Next week, we'll come back with another practical tip you can use as a homeowner around your home and take care of your plumbing, maintain your plumbing, repair your plumbing, whatever it is, we'll have something really good for you. If you like what you've been seeing, please uh, hit that subscribe button and like and share this video so we can keep making more for you. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next week.